in its current form, it's just a hand-built prototype. So in that sense, yes, it could have existed without Kickstarter. Um, how it wouldn't have been able to exist is as a really refined developer kit and later down the road as a consumer product. That's what, consumer, what Kickstarter really helps us with. Well, whenever you do something where you, there's a disconnect between what your inner ear and what your body feels and what your visual system is seeing, there's always going to be a little bit of discomfort. That's one of the reasons we want to get to developers so that we can figure out ways to try and mitigate that. I mean, one easy way would be to say that you have to jump in real life in order to jump in the game and then you're going to get cues that match up. It's been an almost universally positive, positive reaction. There's been very, very, there have been very few people who have had a negative response. And some of the, like one was a four-year-old boy um, who shouldn't have been playing Doom 3. The other one was a guy whose friends bet him to do it because he, he gets sick riding in cars. So yeah. the, the, the vast majority of people have had really amazing experiences. Well, currently we're using panels that are available in a, at a reasonable price um, and that we can drive over a single HDMI cable because there's only so much bandwidth that we, there's only so much bandwidth to push pixels through currently. Uh, the developer kit is going to be shipping with that resolution. So 640 by 800 per eye is, uh, is the effective resolution. And uh, for the consumer version, we don't have a resolution that's nailed down, but there's panels with double and quadruple the resolution that are coming out in the same size and price point. Uh, at some point next year. And one of the things that also helps is that the optics have an enormous amount of geometric distortion. So a straight line of pixels on the edge of the screen is actually being bowed inwards like this. So we're compensating for that in software by you know, rendering the image that is distorted the other way. So what you get when you look in is an image where that line looks straight, but you actually have more pixels in the center of the screen than you do in the periphery. Um, it's, it's a much more efficient use of pixels than a monitor where you have the same number of pixels in the center where you're staring all the time as you do way up in the corner where you hardly ever look. Um, if, if you could put kind of one game on there and you had total any choice to put any game on the Oculus, what would it be? Any game? Yeah. Oh man, that's tough. You know, it'd have to be like a cross between, it's a, it's a tie between the Fallout 3, Pokemon Yellow. Yes! <laughs> Well, you, the development kit is going to be shipping in December. We don't have a date. We, we don't want to pick a date just yet for the consumer version because we want to make sure that we take enough time to get it right. Um, I'd like to have it at some point next year, but we'll see if that works out.